Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. So uh, Drattle44 here bringing you a different video talking about a bit of trading and avoiding time wasters as we all like to do. Uh, but before we get into that, of course, uh, I'm going to be doing a Stipplegate uh, giveaway. Uh, it's got a striker cert on it. Uh, it's draw is going to be on the 4th of April, so actually this Sunday. As you can see, it's a beautiful decal, lots of different variations you can make, different colours, goes on all the different cars and, and all those good things, and, and can pretty much suit any sort of design that you have. And the striker cert will just mean that it maintains some value, or if you don't use it, I guess it does mean that you can sell it, and it's still worth a fair amount of credits. All you got to do for that is just uh, drop a sub, uh, turn the notifications on, and drop a comment with your username and something else below, and of course you'll be entered, and the draw will be on the 4th of April, so we'll see who's lucky enough to win, but good luck to all all of you I hope one of you does of course uh, get that prize and is very happy with it uh, right well let's get into the video then so basically um, you know I've been doing a trade series uh, I've been pretty much trying to collect uh, emerald wheels uh, build the whole set naturally it's been hard I'm not gonna lie but this one was a just a little trade that uh, I noticed on the opportunity and I wanted to to grab it now um, purple emeralds at the moment um, probably sell for around mm, maybe 15 to 1700 averagely i guess um but i managed to get these uh 1300 which is actually below the current average value and to be honest they look really really nice now i do already have a pair so this is a spare pair shall we say but i wanted to get them in because I think that, the, as I've said before, I do firmly believe that Emerald Wheels are going to be going up at some point, and this is a great opportunity to sort of have profit. Now, we went then went on talking about, like, basically some other trades and the stipple gate and things like that, because he actually had it in purple, which actually, I have to say, looks really, really good. And at some point, I will be designing a car with a purple stipple gate on it as well, because I have my own personal one, not the one that's going into the draw. Um, and it was really, really good. So, yeah, we had a bit of a chat. It was really nice, actually, really nice trader. Um, and, of course, we went from there. Now, pretty much the main bulk of the video then was this next guy. Now, when you come to trading, I think one of the things that you've got to really look at is, is that time is precious. You could be missing out on some really good opportunities while you waste your time with some trader that is eventually not going to do a deal with you. Now, unfortunately, you know, if you do come across them in game and you say to someone trade and they say yes, and you're that kind of person, um, you are going to be expecting the time. They show you all the things that they have because you haven't got like that mutual agreement on something that you're interested in. They're just going to show you all of the items. And quite often, more often than not, you're going to get a load of really just terrible items that just aren't worth anything and aren't worth your time. It depends on opinion, though. I mean, don't get me wrong. Obviously, everyone's different in what they like. Um, but a lot of the time, you're going to get various things. That you're just going to be like, this is worth nothing. It's going to be like pass stuff, which you have to keep saying, I don't want any pass items. Have you got anything else? And you spend a lot of time. And when you deal with people on the Rocket League Garage app or any form of app, I guess Rocket League Garage is a great example you do get time wasters. Now, something that um, I wanted to kind of use as a trading tip is trying to avoid them. Now, it is hard to avoid them completely because sometimes you can get careless and sometimes you can just maybe not confirm things. Now, with this particular guy, I added him. We agree, agreed that we discuss it in game uh, rather than the app. And this is probably where the mistake kind of came because to be honest uh you know like i could have just said look these are the two items i have one of them uh, if you add one i can then add credits to make up the rest but i haven't got enough credits to kind of actually pay it outright now this guy was asking for 3800 for the black emeralds which is not a bad price if i'm honest i mean i'd seen them at much more expensive a price so again if you're looking for some really good deals uh crimson black Mm, probably purple as well if you can get them i think those kind of colors without going to the titanium whites are actually a really really good sort of like color to go for because actually you know colors like that are always going to remain popular and i have to say the blacks look absolutely amazing they're such nice wheels but with this guy i mean going back to him you know you can sort of see in the text chat you know we're having a conversation and basically he kind of wants 2.8k uh, uh, I believe and interstellar uh, my forest green interstellar now don't get me wrong I do realize that forest green interstellar has dropped in some price which is a shame um, I think it's a lovely decal and to be honest I did not want to even consider it but I kind of hoped he would pick the orange emeralds if I'm honest I just wanted to throw another item in that I actually had available to kind of trade a lot of my items I'm either keeping for the future to trade or they're actually things I use and I don't want to trade them so it's kind of 
difficult to to kind of like find items that maybe you can temporarily get rid of and then replace like as soon as possible sort of thing so that was the, the difficulty i had here um but with this guy he sort of like basically um said I want 2.8k and the interstellar and I was like well look the interstellar is worth more than than a thousand I know that that is the minimum value and I know that you do pay um kind of like overpay but bear in mind that you know already it was kind of like you know paying a bit more for the item than uh, I wanted so it was kind of like I mean obviously still better than what it has been but this guy was kind of being, being a, a bit difficult so then I had to think about it I sort of said well all right I tell you what yeah let's do it let's let's go with that and I'll do in the 2800 and then I will do, of course, um, the, the Forest Green Interstellar as well. Didn't want to, but at the time I thought, well, I can replace that Interstellar pretty quickly and it will be no problem um, at some point in the future. So I thought, well, that, that would at least get me these emeralds because they're going to go up in price. There's no doubt that these sort of wheels are going to increase in price in the near future. And of course, it is a really, really good sort of investment. Of course, what happens is with this guy is is that you know I said right okay look yeah we'll do 2,800 and the forest green interstellar, and he turns around and says no interstellar, meaning he wants another item instead, and it's like, are you serious? Are you actually kidding me here? Are you just wasting my time? And the answer is yes. So all I would say is is that with regards to time wasters you're going to get a lot of them if you deal with rocket league garage you're going to know that there are a lot of time wasters and your time is precious so basically all i would say with this is, is that pinpoint exactly what you're after what you're offering and agree it on the app now you will get some people who will come on the app and they will ask for more i, I want 4700 instead of 4600 i want and, and they will do that there's always going to be those people but the minute they start doing it you say no this is the price we agreed we either do it or we don't if they say no leave do not waste your time with these people because they will eat up a lot of hours in a lot of time that you could be doing other things finding other trades playing the game enjoying and doing all that stuff so i just want to throw that out there that i mean i'm sure a lot of you experienced ones will know that but there are a lot of people out there that are new to the game it's only just really come out free to play like a few months back and i still know that there are lots of you out there that are still learning about trading and kind of coming to terms with how it works and to be honest you know until like more recently over the last few months i was terrible at trading and i never traded with anybody so you know it is a learning curve and you definitely kind of get used to it uh the upside to the particular story is is that this guy was straightforward i just i literally got some credits and i said right okay look you know i'll do 3750 he said yeah and we agreed it and i got the black emerald wheels and they do look really good really really good so if you do get a chance to get them and you have those credits spare i would suggest picking them up because i think in the future these are going to go up in price definitely a big amount and to be honest, I think actually the, the market, the way it is actually, uh, generally, the prices are a lot, lot lower on so many items. So there are many, many opportunities out there, be it toppers, uh, boosts, you know, cars, obviously some of the cars may be the popular ones if you can get them in particular painted colours, always a good thing. Wheels, definitely, and there's lots of other items as well. So there are some really good opportunities to make profit. Uh, there is some profit, of course, as it always is, but there's all those ones that you can just wait a little bit and you're going to see the prices rise, which is going to be really interesting. I'm going to be very fascinated to sort of see how the market shifts at some point and whether the prices start rocketing up on some of the things that uh, we've all bought. So that will be an interesting one for the future. Anyway, I mean, this is uh, pretty much summing up. I got the purple and I've got the black uh, sort of like emerald wheels. I've still got other ones to show in vid various videos. So I hope you enjoyed it, found it useful and informative. If you did, of course, drop me a like. If you want to sub to enter in for the Stipplegate draw on the 4th of April, please do. And if you want to drop a comment below, as long as it's constructive and reasonable, then please do that as well. Otherwise, I shall see you in the next video. But then take care. Till then, bye bye.